In a recent incident on a job site, a crew faced challenges while trying to extract an excavator from a dig pit. Utilizing cables attached to a larger machine, they meticulously set up the rigging to aid in the extraction process. However, just as they were on the brink of completing the task, disaster struck. Dizzy, dizzy, oh, shoes, oh, shoes. Yours, 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 yours. The exact cause of the mishap remained uncertain leading many unanswered questions and prompting speculation about the circumstances surrounding the incident. It raised concerns about the delicate balance that the operator of the larger machine had to maintain, maneuvering between speed and caution throughout the operation. At a fuel station, despite clear safety warnings, an unusual incident occurred. In the cold of Russia a woman encountered a fuel pump that had frozen over, preventing any gasoline from being dispensed. In an attempt to address the issue, she used a lighter, hoping to thaw the frozen mechanism. The woman's intentions, whether to defrost the pump, illuminate the fuel gauge, or unfreeze her gas cap, are secondary to the sheer risk of using an open flame near a fuel source. This act serves as a stark reminder of the importance of adhering to safety precautions in potentially hazardous situations. In the state of Chhattisgarh, India, a peculiar incident unfolded on May 30, 2020, captivating local spectators and subsequently drawing wider attention. A vehicle, under mysterious circumstances, found its way into a river adjacent to the city. Efforts to rescue the submerged car involved the deployment of a crane. Despite the anticipation for a successful retrieval, the operation faced an unexpected setback. The attempt to hoist the car to safety narrowly missed success, amid the unfolding drama, a tense moment saw the crane operator making a last-minute escape from the cab, narrowly avoiding potential harm as the situation escalated. Onlookers quickly intervened, ensuring the individual's safety from the encroaching waters. Fortuitously, despite the chaotic turn of events, there were no injuries reported. In the complex world of heavy machinery transport, understanding the principles of weight distribution is crucial. An illustrative example of what can go wrong is a scenario involving the transportation of a massive bulldozer on a flatbed truck. During an attempt to navigate an uphill route, the situation took a precarious turn as the front tires of the flatbed lifted off the ground, rendering the truck's steering capabilities ineffective. This led the entire rig rolling back downhill in a potentially hazardous unrestrained descent. The Mar In Huizhou, a city within Guangdong Province, China, a remarkable incident occurred on August 16, 2023, involving an extremely fortunate driver. A couple driving nearby initially mistook a car tailgating a semi-truck for reckless driving. Upon closer inspection, they discovered a more dire situation.
ขาดห้าThe driver of the car, astonishingly, was extracted from this perilous position unharmed. It remains a mystery how long the semi truck might have continued dragging the smaller vehicle had these observant passers-by not intervened. The specifics of how the car became ensnared by the semi are unclear. It seems plausible that it crashed into a stationary semi. Unaware of the collision, the truck driver could have inadvertently dragged the car for an indeterminate distance. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers posed by large vehicles' blind spots. In an incident that seems to have occurred in the aftermath of a significant landslide, a video captures the aftermath where debris has cluttered a roadway. Tasked with the removal of a notably large boulder, a crane, mounted on a flatbed truck and operated remotely, was deployed to the scene. The operation's straightforward goal was to relocate the obstructive rock onto the vehicle for transportation. However, the task was complicated by the rock's unexpected weight, a common misjudgment given the density and mass of natural stone, which can be far greater than its size might suggest. During the lifting process, a critical failure occurred, likely within the crane's lifting apparatus or its attachment to the rock, resulting in the arm's violent swing. This abrupt movement caused the crane to overshoot its target, leading to the entire setup, including the flatbed truck, being dragged down into a nearby gorge. This incident starkly highlights the inherent risks in post-disaster cleanup efforts, particularly when dealing with the aftermath of landslides. Miraculously, the incident did not result in any injuries, largely because the crane was being operated remotely, thus avoiding any risk to the operator. This incident took place in Toronto, Canada. On November of 2019, a remarkable incident involving a utility worker's close call with danger. On the 14th of that month, a city bus collided with a utility pole, a mishap that could have had dire consequences. Fortunately, the passengers aboard the bus emerged with minor injuries. Following the accident, emergency protocols were activated, including the immediate shutdown of electrical power to the affected lines. This quick response is critical in preventing additional hazards, particularly for the utility workers tasked with restoring service. The worker involved in this incident was equipped with standard protective gear, which proved instrumental in his safety during the repair operation. Were you rolling? I was. I was, I, was I was just looking for my guy. I was rolling through the whole thing. Believing the power line to be deactivated, the worker proceeded to cut into it. The moment was fraught with potential danger, yet, due to the protective equipment, he avoided injury. This incident highlights not only the inherent risks associated with utility work, especially when dealing with high voltage lines, but also the indispensable value of safety protocols and equipment. In the bustling metropolis of Georgetown, Malaysia's, the World Key Bridge once stood as a landmark pedestrian passage. This 45-year-old bridge enabled countless individuals to traverse above the highway on their way to the ferry, embedding itself into the fabric of daily life. However, its tenure came to an abrupt end in 2020. On the 5th of February, an incident sealed its fate, a truck, navigating World Key Road with a crane hoisted on its bed, disastrously misjudged the bridge's clearance height. Although the truck's cabin managed to pass underneath, the crane did not, leading to a catastrophic collision. The scene unfolded with deceptive normalcy, as the truck's approach suggested it would successfully clear the underpass, only for the crane to snag at the last moment, bringing the vehicle to a jarring stop and nearly causing the bridge's collapse. Miraculously, the bridge was devoid of pedestrians at this critical moment, preventing any injuries. The damage, however, was irreparable, leaving city officials with a difficult decision. Repairing the bridge would require closing Weld Key Road, a vital artery too integral to the city's traffic flow to be obstructed. Consequently, the decision was made to demolish the bridge within 24 hours of the accident. 
the trucking company responsible for the mishap was billed for the demolition costs. In Parthani, Thailand, fishing plays a vital role in the local economy. On January 28, 2022, an incident unfolded during routine maintenance on one of the fishing boats. Two cranes were enlisted to lift the boat onto the dock for repairs. Each crane was assigned to support different parts of the boat. However, during the operation, one of the cables unexpectedly snapped, causing the boat to plummet back into the water, pulling one of the cranes down with it. Fortunately, the crane operator managed to escape from the cab. Although he sustained minor injuries to his leg, prompt medical attention ensured his well-being. Despite the harrowing experience, the crane operator remained resilient, sharing his story with optimism and gratitude for his safety. Concrete's role in construction is crucial, but misplaced wet concrete can cause significant issues. One such instance involved a motorist who halted suddenly in front of a cement mixer and was subsequently drenched by spilling concrete. It serves as a cautionary tale about the unpredictable consequences of such encounters on the road. In Watertown, New York, a close-knit community of approximately 25,000 residents leans on local grocery chains for their daily sustenance. These essential services depend on the seamless operation of delivery teams, who play a critical role in ensuring the shelves remain stocked. On a fateful day in June 2023, one such delivery team, familiar with the challenges of servicing smaller chains plagued by financial constraints and inadequate maintenance, encountered a significant safety oversight at a Watertown location. Their prior grievances about the unsafe conditions, particularly a misaligned loading dock that presented a clear tripping hazard, had been dismissed by corporate decision makers. This prompted the team to document their deliveries, anticipating the inevitable. And I got that on video. I got that on video. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. What? I knew this was going to happen. I have been telling them to get a power jack. Oh, my shoe came off. That almost landed on top of you, dude. Are you okay? Oh, I saw it coming. The incident that unfolded involved a precarious transfer of goods, with nearly 2,000 pounds of bottled water and pet food precariously navigating the faulty lip between the loading dock and that truck. This event, captured on video, underscored the dangers delivery personnel face and propelled management to implement necessary safety upgrades, including resurfacing the driveway and replacing the docking plate, alongside introducing more efficient, battery-powered lifting equipment. The occurrence in Watertown echoes a larger narrative on workplace safety, particularly the risks of tripping accidents. Research indicates that slips, trips, and falls represent a significant portion of non-fatal workplace injuries, leading to substantial time away from work and, in severe cases, fatalities. Specifically, in 2019, falls, slips, and trips accounted for 27.4% of non-fatal workplace injuries in the private sector, emphasizing the critical need for preventive measure. In this video was captured in Kravi, Thailand. A notable incident on February 16, 2020 occurred. A delivery driver, navigating a rural route in Kravi with a load of dry cement, had to make a sudden maneuver to avoid hitting an elderly pedestrian. This action caused his flatbed truck to tilt slightly on a curve, leading to several pallets of cement sliding off and bursting open upon hitting the road. The resulting cloud of dust engulfed an approaching car, with some cement blocks striking its front bumper. Both drivers later convened at the local police station to resolve the issue, with the delivery company covering the damages and the driver receiving a minor fine for careless driving. An incident occurred on May 4, 2022, involving a truck driver who decided to remove his hoodie due to discomfort from the heat. Despite his efforts to maintain focus on the road, the situation quickly deteriorated. His passenger, either unaware of the risk or reluctant to intervene,
did not react as the situation unfolded. The critical moment came when the hoodie obscured the driver's vision, leading to a loss of control. The truck swerved and headed straight for an off-road area, with the passenger preparing for the worst and the driver unable to see the imminent collision. Notably, it appeared that neither individual was wearing a seatbelt at the time of the accident. Fortunately, the outcome was not as dire as it could have been. Both individuals emerged from the incident, with the driver unscathed and the passenger suffering only minor injuries. This event serves as a stark reminder of the importance of keeping full attention on driving and the potential consequences of even. On January 1, 2016, a dramatic incident unfolded at the port when a 20-feet shipping container slipped from its stack, narrowly missing workers below. Despite the container being empty, its weight posed a significant danger, weighing over 3,800 pounds. Fortunately, quick reactions averted potential injuries as workers swiftly evacuated the area. Following the mishap, safety crews took charge of the scene, prompting a thorough inspection of the container for any damages caused by its impact on the crane during the fall. Such incidents underscore the inherent risks of working in the bustling shipping industry, where tight schedules and heavy loads demand constant vigilance and adherence to safety protocols. The port of Busan, celebrated as South Korea's largest seaport, has undergone remarkable transformations over the course of the last century. On April 6, 2020, a significant event unfolded involving the container ship named the Milano Bridge. While attempting to dock at the port, the vessel encountered complications arising from a malfunctioning propeller, resulting in it skimming perilously close to the water's surface. This malfunction severely hampered the ship's maneuverability, ultimately culminating in a forceful collision with the port infrastructure. The repercussions of this collision resonated throughout the subsequent months, leading to costly delays and disruptions within the port operations. <laughs> The fundamental cause of this accident can be attributed to an imbalance in weight distribution. The absence of adequate ballast water on board the Milano Bridge led to the propeller rising above the waterline, exacerbating the vessel's instability. Further exacerbating the situation was the lack of cargo on the ship, which would typically contribute to its overall weight and stability. It is worth noting that the Milano Bridge had recently undergone repairs in China and was en route to Pusan for loading at the time of the incident. Additionally, this mishap occurred following a prior collision involving the Milano Bridge a few months earlier, necessitating repairs in China. In compliance with road safety regulations, drivers are required to yield to emergency vehicles, including ambulances, fire trucks, and police cars, which often navigate traffic urgently, necessitating swift maneuvers and sometimes abrupt directional changes. Over the 4th of July weekend in Morgan County, a serene area in northern Utah, an incident underscored the complexities of such interactions. A pickup truck was trailing a state trooper's vehicle when, unexpectedly, the trooper activated the emergency lights to execute a maneuver, possibly prompted by navigation instructions for a U-turn deemed illegal by some. Initial reports hastily attributed fault to the pickup driver, yet video evidence suggested a lack of sufficient time for him to respond appropriately to the trooper's sudden move. 
The sequence of events led to the trooper's vehicle making a move that appeared to be a pullover to the right, compelling the pickup driver to swerve left in an attempt to bypass, a decision that ultimately resulted in a collision. The Utah Highway Patrol later issued a statement clarifying the incident, assigning responsibility to the trooper for not adequately checking for vehicles behind before initiating the maneuver. This acknowledgement absolved the pickup driver, highlighting the critical importance of awareness and caution by all, including law enforcement, in ensuring road safety. In a tragic twist of fate during a maritime journey that began on January 13, 2012, the journey of the Costa Concordia, an Italian cruise ship, took a fatal turn. Commanded to veer nearer to Giglio Island by its captain, the ship met with catastrophe, striking a hidden underwater obstacle that caused it to keel over and partially submerge off the island's shores. This calamity triggered a rescue mission lasting six hours, yet tragically, 33 individuals could not be saved. The aftermath of this maritime tragedy saw a thorough investigation that laid the blame squarely on human error, particularly highlighting the captain, Francesco Chettino's grave misjudgment and his hasty desertion of the vessel, forsaking those aboard. For his actions, Chettino faced the law and was condemned to a 16-year imprisonment for manslaughter. Despite the catastrophic loss, Costa Cruises faced no legal repercussions. Maritime shipping industry, pivotal for transporting around 80% of global goods, has witnessed a substantial increase in cargo volume, escalating from 100 million tons in 1980 to over 2 billion tons in recent years. This growth, while demonstrating the sector's expansion, also brings to light the heightened risk of operational accidents. A notable incident on March 18, 2012, exemplifies these hazards. A forklift operating at a port attempted an unsafe maneuver with a suspended container, leading to a tip over due to improper weight distribution and uneven ground. This incident serves as a critical lesson in the necessity of strict adherence to safety protocols in cargo handling operations. Despite the potential for severe outcomes in such accidents, the forklift operator involved in the 2012 incident was fortunate to escape unharmed. The vast and dynamic realm of maritime operations, the anchoring system of a vessel plays a pivotal role in its safety and stability. Anchoring, a seemingly straightforward procedure, involves deploying an anchor to the seabed to prevent the ship from drifting due to wind or current. The sophistication of this process increases with the size of the vessel, with cruise ships employing anchors weighing between 10 to 20 tons, and cargo ships utilizing anchors around 15 tons. However, the anchor itself is just the beginning, the chain links, often weighing around 125 pounds each and extending over 1,400 feet, are crucial in connecting the anchor to the vessel. The crew engages a windlass, a device acting as a brake to control the anchor's descent. This system is essential in managing the massive weight and ensuring the anchor deploys smoothly to the ocean floor. A malfunctioning windlass can result in the anchor dropping uncontrollably, posing significant risks to the ship and its crew. have shown an uptick in anchor losses, attributed to various factors, including environmental conditions and lack of adherence to best practices. The consequences of losing an anchor extend beyond the immediate operational challenges, involving environmental, safety, 
and financial repercussions. Port authorities may hold vessels accountable for costs associated with lost anchors indefinitely. Bitumen, crucial in road construction and numerous industrial applications, necessitates careful handling due to its distinct physical and chemical characteristics. Widely recognized as asphalt within the United States, its utility spans roofing and waterproofing, underlining its pivotal role in modern infrastructure. Transporting bitumen, particularly at the elevated temperatures needed to keep it in liquid form, poses unique challenges. Bitumen's viscosity decreases with temperature, requiring specialized containers with insulation and heating systems for its transport. This ensures that bitumen remains fluid, aiding in efficient loading, unloading, and application procedures. Maintaining precise temperature control is vital, as bitumen solidifies and loses its effectiveness if allowed to cool beyond specific thresholds. These videos show these mishaps, emphasizing the necessity of stringent temperature management during transportation. Oh! Moreover, safety in transporting bitumen is paramount, given the risks associated with its heated state. Potential hazards include serious burns upon contact and the risk of boilover incidents, where water contamination leads to violent reactions, endangering transport personnel and bystanders. Comprehensive safety measures, such as personal protective equipment and strict adherence to safety protocols, are crucial for mitigating these risks. Additionally, the transportation process demands meticulous planning, route optimization, and adherence to regulatory standards to ensure bitumen safe delivery across distances.